I have seen many students ask in our group, what are the most important to topics from this subject, let's say control system or analog electronics. So they think like, if I just study these topics, then I will be able to answer all the questions in the examination. Don't get me wrong. We'll also make those videos like we'll not make which subjects are important. We'll just make weightage wise, weightage wise distribution of each topics. Like what is the weightage? What is the general trend? That is a good thing to know. But with that trend, you cannot uh, go into your examination. That will be a very bad thing. Basically, it is simple. It is simply like stock market with past data, how the stock has performed. You cannot predict the future, right? Of course, you can get an idea if it's a big company like and the company is stable, it will be stable in future as well. It's, it gives a good idea, but anything can happen that company stock can go down as well. Similarly, in gate exam, let's say from control systems, they are not asking you from controllers and compensator for the past two, three years. But what can happen in the next year? Maybe they will change, right? They will change and they can ask from controllers and compensators. They can ask two questions from, uh, from EC, gate EC, gate double E or gate IN. It is their wish. Right. In gate and anyways, they ask from controllers and compensator, but in gate EC, they don't ask. Right. So you cannot take risk. This is not the time to take risks. Right. We will have the time around November, December. If you want to, you can follow if few topics are very important, which are getting asked every year. So those topics you can start start like fault analysis in power system. Fault analysis is very it is like you don't have to memorize few things. Just you have to understand how to solve the question solving network and that's it. You're good to go. So those topics you can study, right? Those are important topics. Those you can, you cannot leave out basically. You cannot leave out. But other topics are also important. Load flow analysis, okay? Stability. Then you have PSA one in transmission distribution. Those things are big. Those topics are big, but you cannot leave out. They, they can ask a question. So please don't think about leaving some topics from now or like uh, from now itself, okay? Try to study everything. And of course, at the end, if you're not able to finish some, some topics, you will only study the important ones. For those, we'll bring a video which topics, which topics are most important, what is the weightage of these topics. So those videos you can simply watch. Okay. So yeah, that was a uh, short video from my end to let, to let you know, please don't do this mistake that you are just studying the important topics. You are not studying the whole subject comprehensively because whenever a teacher teaches some subject, right, they go by the flow. So if I have taught first transformers, then I have taught DC machines, then I have taught induction machine, then synchronous. So maybe in synchronous, there will be some concepts of induction getting used. So there is a flow. If you just drop out of the subject and then come into the next subject, came uh, next uh, chapter without studying the previous chapter, maybe your educator might refer to the previous chapter, some concept of the previous chapter, and you will not be able to understand it. Okay. So it's, it is not recommended. Of course, at, at the later stages, we can think of it, but right now you should not think of those things. Also, like for example, analog electronics, right? Most electrical students fear analog electronics. So if you fear analog electronics, what you can do, you can study the DC biasing of MOSFETs because what we have seen in electrical, mostly they ask DC biasing of MOSFETs only. They don't ask the AC analysis, high frequency analysis. But of course, it's there with MOSFET is in the syllabus, so they can ask any time AC analysis. But mostly we have seen DC. So at least like if that topic is DC analysis, you can at least cover that after covering the DC analysis, then we move on to AC and DC is the easy part. So those kind of things you can do, but not now during the later stages when you don't have time and you have to focus on optimizing your gate score, like getting the best out of your gate exam, right? So for those kind of things, you have to think of a strategy. So that things will come, but not now in later. So if you want any more tips and tricks, any uh, strategy if regarding anything you can always put in the comments below we will always be happy to help you so if this video has helped you guys make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next video until then happy learning